Jerry. You only have to spell that once, even though I said it thrice. Welcome back to me, Monkey Knots. It's me, Jack, uh, live from the Monkey House. And on today's show, this microphone is yours. Actually, I've been speaking kind of loudly into it. I, maybe you should use a different microphone. I don't want to spread any germs or spittle your way, because you've got important work to do. You need to spell a word that you already know how to spell. Although, this should probably be an open and shut case for you, because I'm not going to surprise you with a brand new word. No, 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 no. That is not the spirit of this, of spelling bee. You get to bring a word that you already know how to spell, spell it, and then bask in the glory of having spelled the word that you knew how to spell. And now let's meet our next speller. Say hello, me monkey nods, to Robin. Hey, Robin, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm much better now that you're here. Thanks for asking, and welcome to the Monkey House. Uh, Robin, are you in school already, or are you still on summer vacation? I'm still on summer vacation. I go back on September 8th. Okay. Oh, so we're like on the same timeline. My my family and your family are roughly on the same the same wavelength here. We still have a lot of summer left. Um, are you enjoying the end of your summer? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, we are, too. Although we are lacking in structure right now. It feels like a very murky, murky time without many, uh, uh, like, hard deadlines to make. There aren't many things to do currently. Uh, Robin, tell us, uh, what grade are you going back into on September 8th? I'm going into fifth grade. Fifth grade! Oh, very exciting! You're going to be the... You, uh, what, are you going to be the oldest person in your school? Is fifth grade the uh, oldest grade? Um, no, eighth is. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you've got a ways to go until you're the uh, big student on campus. Uh, but fifth grade, is uh, that's nothing to sneeze at. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. Oh, boy. Okay, fifth grade is on the way. And now you're getting in, in shape to make sure you're ready for the school year. Tell us, Robin, what word did you bring with you? Caribbean. Caribbean. Oh, yeah. This is a great word. But I got a question for you, because I've heard this word pronounced two ways. I've heard it pronounced Caribbean. I've also heard it pronounced Caribbean. Are they both correct, or is Caribbean correct? Do you know? Um, they're both correct. Okay, great. Excellent. This is a word, um, whenever I hear it, it makes me think of the Billy Ocean song, uh, Caribbean Queen. Uh, when my wife was about your age, she thought that the song was called Caribou Queen, and that it was a song about a caribou, you know, which is sort of like a big moose. But <laughs> it's not. It's about a person from the Caribbean or the Caribbean. Uh, why did you pick this word, Robin? Um, because one of my favorite movies is Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, of course. Right. Okay, great. And um, how long did it take you to learn how to spell this word, Robin? Um, I don't know. I just, I heard of the word and I started to memorize it. Okay, so it just it just worked its way into your brain like a like a little worm. <laughs> Some words do that. You don't. You're not really conscious of it. You just figure out. Hey, wait a minute. I know how to spell this word. Well, this should be a snap for you then, Robin. Um, you've already used the word yeah. in the sentence Caribbean, and now it's time to spell it. So we're gonna do this just like in a real spelling bee. You gotta say the word. Then spell it one letter at a time, and then say the word again. And if the audience agrees, you are going to an island we like to call the Cool Ranch Doritos Winter Circle. Take it away, Robin. Caribbean. C A R I B B E A N. Audience, show us Caribbean. Oh yeah. Robin, you did it! You just won the spelling bee and an all-expenses-paid trip to the Cool Ranch Doritos Island. Isn't this exciting? Yes. I'm excited, too! Now, remember, you gotta wear sunscreen on Cool Ranch Dorito Island, because otherwise, you're gonna turn into a flaming hot Dorito, and uh, no one can handle that level of heat. It's just too much. Robin, have a great trip back to fifth grade, and have a great school year, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, audience. Give it up for Robin, our newest fifth grader here in the Monkey House.